All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about some street racing in Mexico, of course. But let's get into today's video. All right, first things first, we're gonna be talking about street racing, my freshly built four valve swap. I think I had about 50, 60 miles on it. This was the last rebuild. I've actually went through a few stages of rebuilding this motor because I've been making small errors here and there, learning how to keep these things together. But sometimes our urges just take over us and we're like, I'm not gonna let this car just blow by me. I'm gonna race this thing. And unfortunately for me, I fell into that trap after freshly rebuilding my motor. So I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. I actually have it on video, so let's roll the video. So as you guys just have seen, I was just trying to break in the motor, trying to take it nice and easy. I was coming off that roundabout and out the corner of my eye, I spotted, I think that's a G37 or G35, one of them with the VQ motor. And I spotted him like trying to chase, chase me through traffic. And I was like, uh, so tempting, but I just rebuilt his motor. I don't want to mess this thing up. And this is what happened. So we ended up racing, I ended up you know, putting my foot to the floor. I didn't even have a four valve tune on that four valve motor. I was running it off the GT ECU. So I wasn't even getting all the ponies that I was supposed to get. But man, did I beat the brakes off that car. I didn't pull away from him, but he was stuck. The minute I put my foot in the floor, he was stuck behind me. And the only reason I stopped and I let him pass me was because there was someone jogging on the side of the road and I was like, I don't want to endanger someone else's life just for having some fun. And I'm not even supposed to be running this car the way that I'm running it. But man, that was super fun. It's always awesome to watch like your builds come together and just to have some fun with it, man. I don't, I don't care how much money you really spend. Once it makes its first street race or whatever you're doing with it, it's just such a beautiful thing to watch a plan come together. But I had so much fun doing that. I definitely don't encourage street racing. It's just something that I think we all fall into from time to time. It's not a good thing. A lot of people could get hurt, like pedestrians and even drivers. And then look at me. I have a top down, no cage, no anything, just regular ass seat belt and doing the moon when it comes to speed. So I don't encourage it. And like I said, we were in Mexico. So uh, yes, please, I'm not encouraging street racing. I'm just doing a little story time video, letting you guys know what was going through my head while I was out, just trying to break in a motor and someone wanted some of that gap sauce and I, who am I to stop him from getting it? <laughs> so it was super cool to see my car do fairly well against a vehicle that was actually chasing me. And if you know anything about racing, uh, once someone has floored it before you, it's a very hard thing to keep them behind you if you floored it after them. So what I mean is this, if you're lining up the race, that's why you always line up like this and then you shoot out. But if someone is coming for you and they've already floored it and you haven't floored it yet, you're gonna have a hard time staying in the front of them because they're already building up that speed. They're already building up that RPM. And to see that the minute I floored it, he was stuck behind me and couldn't get in the front until I let off. That is a very good feeling that I'm producing a good amount of power and I'm getting it to the road. I have fully enjoyed this car to the max, even though I'm still in the braking phase, I'm still in the tuning phase. Man, doing a four valve swap on one of these Mustang GTs has to be one of the best motor swaps. I know they have Coyotes, but if you're not willing to spend $10,000, $15,000, you're not gonna get that done for cheap. So the four valve swap is definitely the best motor bang for your buck. Yes, the aftermarket is a, is a questionable thing because it's expensive for headers, it's expensive for cams, but oh, is it an amazing sounding motor. It is super, super good motor. But 
yeah, that's all I have for you guys for today. A chase is a race, and he definitely was chasing me, and I gave him what he came for. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Always remember, don't drift without your dreams, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.